This episode of MMA Nuts is brought to you by Freshly. Chef cooked healthy meals delivered to your door. Save $40 off the six meal plan for first time users with code MMA639. JP Cycles, the best aftermarket parts and accessories for your motorcycle. Save up to 30% off with code MMAN. Vitamin World, nutrition starts at the source. Save 10% off with code MMA0314. For hymns, do you have ED? Fix like a champ. Use code MMA Nuts5 for $5 first order or go to forhims.com. MMA Nuts 5. The Fence Soap, the ultimate soap for wrestlers, jiu-jitsu, and MMA athletes with the new peppermint oil bars and shower gel. Use code MMA Nuts for 15% off. Hey fans, this is MMA Nuts episode 379. 379. My name is Ingo Weigel. Back with the MMA show by my fans, for my fans, walk live between serious and ridiculous. Howdy, Matt. What's happening? Was is los, mein Freund. Yeah, so he's going to start <laughs> talking dirty to me in German. <laughs> yeah. I like this. That's not dirty. Do I need to I say, pay what, for it? What's that? No. Free for you. You're trying to entice me into the Shiza world. <laughs> That's I know right. you. And yeah. you're a gay Because my dick is gross. That's right. Yeah. Large in some circles, small in others. Correct. That's right. Um, what a beautiful day in Chicago today. Beautiful, balmy 61 degrees. Beautiful. Great day for outdoor activities. For burning shit. You burned some stuff today? Yesterday. I don't think I'm supposed to. They had all this, uh, I had a garden, let it overgrow. All this grass grew up. It was like six foot tall. So I got out there with a hoe, fucking whacking <laughs> that shit so many down. Things, he's like and uh, <laughs> by the time it's said and done, I've got a, you know, thirty yeah. feet by ten feet of just dead, dry material. And as I'm bagging it, I'm going, hmm, just get that goddamn fire pit out and light this bitch up. Did you? Yeah, nice. damn right. I use this charcoal lighter fluid. I don't need to use it, but I do it anyway. We have my sixteen year old daughter out there, and I'm always telling her. It's funny how much shit you do, and then I tell them, don't do what I'm doing. Don't be like that. Because I have the fire lit, and I'm spraying the lighter fluid oh, on well, it. Yeah. It, could, <laughs> it did. <laughs> it could totally blow you up, man. It's bad. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, just don't do this. This is more fun, though. <laughs> You're crazy, man. I've seen somebody have a, a little problem with that before. Well, it was, the bottle was almost empty. So oh. it That's even worse. It's more combustible. I don't care. Wow. You got to live on the edge. Literally you know? playing with fire. I said it's more dangerous if it's gasoline. Yeah. I had a thought while you were talking. Yeah. Because you mentioned a hoe. And I wonder, mm -hmm. like, how does, a, how does a garden tool also be referenced to, like, a female prostitute? It's a good question. Or what? I didn't know pimps were into farming. It, it, I'm curious. If anybody knows, because it's curious that they're both called hoes. What well, what's the function of the hoe? It just chops up the dead material, like the dead land. I'm scraping away things that were once live overturning ground yeah mm -hmm. something so i don't see how that fucking oh, really? because it's like because you're all turned up and shit or something <laughs> i don't know what that don't means know. but uh someone's handling you I i'm as wet as it comes sir i don't understand <laughs> yeah that's what it is it is you know what else is what it is hmm. ufc fight night 128 performance bonuses and highlights matt will do the highlights i'll do the bonuses go ahead all right Fight of the night, fifty thousand dollars. Ricky Simone defeating Mirab Dvalishili by yeah, good TKO. with that one. <laughs> by TKO, it's a quite controversial finish. Yes, yes. some kind of choking action. Yeah, it looked like he had knocked himself out on the way down and a little one-handed guillotine. <laughs> and I thought That's he like was me in the bedroom, sir. Knocked <laughs> <laughs> out on the way nice. down. <laughs> I like this. And then uh, the guy he's got on top, he's got the one-arm guillotine, a la Luke Rockhold yep. and Michael Bisping, yep. offensive finish. And the guy on the bottom is just bicycling away. He's like, fuck it, I got 45 seconds left. I got to get some cardio in. He's doing work. And the ref's like, eh, I don't know. He's out, man. He is out. His eyes were rolled. At the fifth minute, like right at the yeah. end. Called it. So there's all this controversy. Like, oh, he made it to the bell. He should have got the, you know, or not the unanimous decision, but the split decision win. Like, fuck that. The guy's out. The fight's over. The right call was made. Should be think, a submission Do you win. think he will appeal this? Decision. Yeah, but nothing happens. Doesn't matter. Does you can appeal to your appeal? blue in the face. That shit yes. doesn't matter. No appeals necessary, sir. No. Just save your money and your time. Unless you're Josh Barnett. Ah, then you might win. And you're USADA. And you have a third party. And you have lots of money. And you have lots of time. Yes. Like and you have rugged good looks. Guess what? What? Chicken Nick butt. Diaz is back! Yeah, we said that. I know, but like... Is we, he gonna fight, though? It was happening, and then now it has happened. Okay. 420 was Friday, sir. Well, they said the rumor was he's supposed to fight Michael Bisping. I'd like to see that. That rumor is floating around still. I'd like to see that. I don't think Bisping wants any part of that fight. No, and, and I think hmm. the rumors I heard was that Bisping wants to finish his career in England, but he would come to the States to fight at Nick Diaz. 
This is all very speculative. Why do you think that would be? More money? What? To fight Nick Diaz? Yeah, that's a huge money fight, right? Yeah. In Vegas? Yeah, it was good. Like, pay-per-view buy rate, what do you say on that one? For a card with them on it? Depends who else is on it, but just if it's if they're headlining, probably four or five hundred, I would say. I didn't say six easy, yeah. depending upon who else is there. Yeah. So, yeah, that, I just want to talk about the two other fights on that card before we run away from them. The... Run. uh it was fucked up because you have Kevin Lee misses weight, mm-hmm. and he fights Edson Barboza. Looks almost identical to when Norma Gomedev fought Barboza. It's the same shit. Like, I fucking take you down. You can't get off your back. I ground and pound you. Mm-hmm. And th- with the exception of Barboza lands a wheel kick at some point and puts Lee on Queer Street. Ooh. But Lee gets his shit back together and is able to maintain... Have you been on Queer Street before, Matt? A couple times. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> it's nice. Very nice. <laughs> okay. I like this. <laughs> so, after the fight, Lee calls out Norma Gomedev again. Okay. Which, I don't know if this is a new trend. It's It was weird because in the past, everyone, when they got the win, would call out Conor McGregor. Right? Now, everyone gets a win, call out Norma Gomedev. Yeah. Poirier wins, Norma Gomedev. Yeah. So, got that going. And then for Barboza, I was thinking, like, Justin Gaethje. Because you got two Ooh. guys. I think they're both on two losses now. Yeah. And they're both going to stand. Let's just fuck. And we're stand both going to leg kick each other. Oh. Come on. Sounds brutal. I might wheel kick you in the head. I like that fight. So let's do that. The other notable thing, Mike Bond tweeted this out. He said, this year, uh, out of the fighters that have missed weight and have gone on the fight, there's, they are 5-0. and oh. Of course. So again, here's another guy misses weight. Of course. I don't have to cut that last pound. We, we, or it's whatever. like ninety percent win rate or something. Yeah, crazy. it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's so yeah. not right. No. And even to the point, I want to we'll talk about this Frankie Edgar fight in a second. But I want to talk about. We'll skip ahead a little bit. Um, I thought I wrote the big detail about this Leslie Smith. So she was supposed to fight on this card. Her opponent missed weight, and. <clears throat> the UFC, she was trying to renegotiate her contract because she's like, well, this is my last fight, so I'm going to try to see if I can get another deal, and the UFC wasn't having anything with it because she's also trying to uh, be the leader of this Project Spearhead for the unionization effort. Mm-hmm. So the UFC actually paid her her show and her win bonus so that it would constitute a fight on her contract, if, if essentially ending her contract with the UFC, and then the UFC said they want no part to do with her anymore. Oh, nice move, UFC. And here's a here's a woman who I believe at the time is ranked number ten uh-huh. in a division where I want to say you only have something like nineteen fighters right now. Yeah. So a little weird, no? Like you got to must be some back back door no know how that we're not privy to, you know? And is this setting a precedent? Because there was she's she got this is the only person I've ever heard of to get show and win bonus for not fighting and because why if she gets her show and win bonus it consider is a it's fight. considered okay. a fight and then her contract's over because uh-huh. she had one fight left hmm. but there was someone else on the card who i don't even think they got the full show money for someone else pulling out so i'm just wondering is this a precedent for other fighters because they could say kind of like the josh barnett with tainted supplements now you could use that as your case and say, well, I'll take you guys to court because this is what happened in the past. Yeah. Same scenario here where, okay, now you've just paid me show and win. I made weight, my opponent didn't, and I turned the fight down because I don't want 20% of nothing in this case. Yeah. And in Leslie's case also, she's getting, uh, what, 62000 to not fight. If she fights and loses, she's only going to get half of that. Mm-hmm. So in her mind, it's better not to take that fight. Yeah, you know? yeah. I get it. Yeah, you, it's yeah. just it's it's just fucked up, right? It is fucked. You up. know, I I don't. You, do you think we're ever gonna? I don't know how many years we've been talking about a union, right? Is two years, at fucking, least two, three years. Yeah. Yeah. Are we ever gonna no, see it? It's not gonna happen. I don't see it happening. And if here's the person who's trying to be the leader of the, mo- the momentum or the movement, they are no longer in the UFC. And this is a UFC union. You're kind of at a super disadvantage. So you basically mm. cut the head off. Of course, they're smart. But doesn't don't when you <clears> cut <throat> the head off of something, don't three grow back or something? Isn't it Only like a hydra? A salamander or whatever that hydra. What's a hydra? I don't know. Like fish? a waterboard or something. Oh, that sounds weird. Mm. 
I have no clue. I don't know about this shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me science questions. I have no clue. What do I, I think it's a that? mythical beast, Ingo. Uh, okay. How's that? Yeah. It's like a unicorn. I know many mythical beasts. You know what else is a mythical beast? Frankie Edgar and Cub Swanson fighting to a unanimous decision. No, this fucking UFC 225 poster. What is up? Why are guys that are combined like one fight a win or 0-1 or something? These, why are these two on the on the freaking card? Well, then the, the, the running joke is someone's O has got to go, Ingo. <laughs> I'm 0-1 and, and you are 0-1. Someone, someone's got to win one, right? So someone's going to be 1-1, and one, the other one will be 0-2. Right. I, I don't understand. Is it just because Punk is a name? CM yeah, Punk, CM but Punk. again, who wants to watch him fight? Uh, you know, this I don't know anything about Jackson. I, I put all my money on Jackson. I don't know jack shit. He's own one. I think he. But might he, I'm sure he has an amateur career, which CM Punk doesn't. And CM Punk has again the history of professional wrestling, where your your goal is to not injure your partner. And I don't think you can go through 10, 15 years of that shit. And not have that muscle memory erased in mm. three years, you know? Good point. I think it's hard to wipe that out. So you pull a punch or whatever. I mean, you didn't get to see him pull a punch in the first fight because he came out hot. He got railed. <laughs> Mickey Gall said, you're coming in a little hot. Take you down and spit you. Yeah. So, bitch. So, yeah. That we'll probably, see. I don't think that ha I think this guy would probably stand with him a little bit. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing it. Uh -huh. I, I just don't see success for him. Especially, he was never, he's not like a super athlete, like a Brock Lesnar making right. the transition over. He's just an average guy who wasn't into drugs or steroids, nope. a clean cut dude. I just don't see him being successful, especially at whatever age and the injuries that he's carried over, you know, from wrestling. So, yeah. We'll see. Yes. What else do I have to talk about? Me? Jim Miller got KO'd with a knee. And I, I, you know, here it, we're at this weird stage where there's a lot of guys still fighting that probably shouldn't be fighting. Yeah, he anymore. was one of my favorites back in the day. He gets knocked out a lot now. Yeah, and he used to be the wizard. Yeah. Because I, I want to say this one, this one's gonna go way back. I want to say it was Jim Miller versus is it Mark Bocek, and Bocek had Miller's back, and I want to say he had him. For like two and a half rounds. He had his arm pinned, yep. and he still couldn't get the fucking rear naked no. choke on Miller. For two, yeah, two was like, almost a whole it was fight. A, it was at least a half a round yeah. where he fought that position off. Yep. Like, Jesus Christ. And Miller was always known for his ground game. Remember? I don't know what and happened. And now we're just like standing, banging it out. and Wasn't he sick for a while or something? I thought he had an illness of some sort. I don't know. I can't remember now. But uh, speaking of old guys, mm. Matt Serra to be inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame. Yeah. I'm going to talk about that. How do you feel about it? Well, I want to... Fuck them! <laughs> well, let me lay out say. the list of uh -huh. Matt Serra. Like, who else is in the Hall of Fame? Yeah. So you have Hoist Gracie, Ken Shamrock, Dan Severin, Randy Couture, Mark Coleman, Chuck Liddell, Matt Hughes, Tito Ortiz, Bash Rutten, Big Nog, Don Fry, Maurice Smith, Sakuraba. Those are like the old school, and then they kind of have like a new wing where they call Forrest Griffin, BJ Penn, and Uriah Faber. So now you're going to put <sighs> Matt Sierra. I mean, I could argue that maybe uh, Forrest Griffin shouldn't be in there either. I could say maybe Uriah Faber also. Well, because Forrest, they had the fight, man. Yeah, I mean, that fight is in the Hall of Fame. There were three fights, and I forget the other two. But w w when you talk about, just take out the last three guys. So take out Griffin, Penn, and Faber. Matt Sierra does not fucking belong with those names. There's no way. No. There's no way. He, had, he beat GSP on a fluky win. You know, catches somebody, and then he gets stomped in the fucking rematch and the brutal knees to the body. So I, I think this is one of those things where it's buddies with Dana White. Yeah, of the show pretty much. That? Because where is a uh, why is GSP not in the Hall of Fame? He's still fighting. Doesn't matter. Why is Rich Franklin not in the Hall of Fame? Because nobody likes his pink shorts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're hot, and so is his black Some eye. Racist shit. Does he still have the black eye now? Yes. Well, no, but he should. Yeah. I think it's standard. You should just tattoo that fucker head. <laughs> it's got some black eye? Yeah. Yeah, he always had the black eye. But I, I don't, I, tell me what he's accomplished in his career besides winning a title a time. He fought Shoney Carter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> he uses the F word a lot. Yeah. We should put him in. Fuck he's him. got a podcast. It's with the UFC. He does. With Jim Norton. So does that make him UFC worthy? I Maybe. I think there's better choices. 
Probably. That seems like a buddy buddy thing. What else we got going on? So if you want to talk about black eyes, so I, I was just saying, I just saw this on Twitter. I got to pull it up for you. So Heather Heat Hardy, apparently she went back to boxing. Mm -hmm. Why do I find a black eye on a woman attractive? I don't know. You should, you should probably go with counseling for that. <laughs> <laughs> do I need to? I mean, I don't know. I find that picture fucking hot as hell. Yeah, I think what you like about it, and what well, what's appealing to me is it looks like a female who's uh, physically active and not afraid of like putting. If, like if some shit goes down, I'm gonna step up. That's right. Her body, her body, um, you know, she takes care of it. Yeah, that's kind of it's an attractive photo. Slightly, I, yeah. I, I'm slightly aroused, Matt. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. That's, I don't know. I just saw that like five minutes ago. I had to huh. bring it up. I think you're right. I think it's something about she's ready to put work in. Uh -huh. You know. Go down. Do like sometimes workout. shit's got to go down, and I'm ready to do it. Yeah, doesn't always have to be the guy; it has to be the protector. Right? I don't want the woman that's going to be the shit starter. <laughs> we were talking about this the a little worst. bit pre-show about yeah. women and their or one of those promiscuous like, ways. You say that to me one more time, my boyfriend's going to kick your yeah, ass, and you're not even anywhere near that. You don't know what the fuck's going on, and then all of a sudden, there's some big dude who wants to kill you, and you go, "What happened? I don't understand what's going on," and you're in a fight. Right. <laughs> Well, I mean, back in the day, I wouldn't mind it, but I don't need that I'd shit. Check your woman People don't out. need that, right? You're with the wrong woman if don't she's need doing no drama. That. I just need a woman that's just like, if shit goes down, she can she can throw some bombs. So you if you're know? in a fight, you should come out of nowhere. <laughs> Suck a bunch of deer. That's like, why I always tell my kids, like, if there's some shit going down, I expect a rear naked choke to come out of nowhere. <laughs> the whole family jump on those fuckers and choke them out. Yeah. Like the kids were grappling yeah. the other day, chokes were flying. Okay, like Caitlin at a. Uh, my youngest daughter had my oldest daughter in a triangle choke, so I'm like, sweet. Just show them a couple things here and there. Let them run with it. Yeah. So why not? It's a family. Everyone's got to be a killer at some point. Okay. Or at least have Slightly some weird. level of self-defense. Family of killers. That's right. Well, so we got Frank Mir. There's his Fedor going down this weekend at the Allstate Arena in here in our backyard. Chicago, not Chicago. Bruce. Yeah, but we'll call it Chicago's. Yeah. Um, did we talk about this fight? Like, who do you like in this one? I think you were leaning towards Mir. I like you? Mir's chances. I, I think Mir can submit him. Actually, I really think Mir could probably knock him out. But I think it's going to be a war of attrition. It, it, because Mir, you know, is he going to be able to have the gas tank to go with Fedor? Is Fedor going to be his old self or do what he's been doing lately? I yeah, know. and I, I think at this point, I, I want to say both of them are a little bit chinny. Yeah. You know, and then yeah. Mir said he's back on the TRT, he's back on the supplements. He was so excited to get back in the Bellator. But, you know, when you look at when shit hits the ground and how many people have, or how many bones has Frank Mir broken on people, you look at Big Nog and mm -hmm. Tim Sylvia and I forgot the other guy, but there's you're talking about, yeah. three, four fucking guys that we've broken shit on. And he's a bad motherfucker on the ground. Yeah. He's crazy. I would so, know. I mean, anything can and happen. That guy, that guy would would talk up Damian Maya. That's the crazy thing. Like Frank Mir. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> Frank, are you trying? <laughs> Remember when he's yeah. talking afterwards? Yeah. He's like, fuck you, man. I am doing everything. <laughs> what do you say? Like, you might as well just send my mail to me here because this is where I live now. I he's think, on yeah, the bottom yeah, or right. something. He's talking like about that. he could fuck me if he wanted yeah. to. <laughs> Basically, I couldn't do anything. So, yeah, Mir's on another That's level. That's crazy because you're talking about... A 260-pound man who's a high-level black belt, but how high-level Damien is that his skill can out, you yeah. know, take out a fucking 60 least, to 80-pound yeah. disadvantage. Right. It's insane. From a, a higher level. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, speaking of Brazilians, you know, did, did you see this thing about Big Nog? Talking about his, uh, his eye injury? No, I, I skipped over that. I didn't realize this, in. but uh, one of his eyes apparently has like a, uh, what is it called? It's a... Uh, uh, an implanted intraocular contact lens. How's so, that? So it's like an implanted lens, and if he gets poked in the eye, it moves around, and he's had some issues with it during his fighting career, so his eye's all messed up. That's why he's had a decline, Matt, because of his eyeball. <laughs> I think it's, <laughs> how many years did they say this has been going he on? He was a kid and like, got run over by a car or something. It seems to happen a lot. In Brazil. In Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. I got run over by a car or a donkey yeah. or a bus. That's I'm not right. quite sure. You got run over by a car. It's fucked up. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, all the best to him. I hope his eye feels okay. Put a little lube in it like Bisbing does. Well, he's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, he is. He deserves to be in there. Questionable. Mm. I would say something. Well, he's, uh, he's had a, a storied career. I don't know if he's. Not uh, all in the UFC, he's though. The best of the best, right. Well. So. That's all I got for news. What do you got? 
Uh, let's scroll back through. Did you see uh, Dustin Poirier's leg after the leg kicks from Gaethje? Here's a little shot of uh, like the back side. Yeah, it was disgusting. Where he ate, I think he said he was over 50 in that fight with What Keishi. a weird picture. What was he doing, pulling his pants up? Yeah, that was the best one out of that. Because they were, they were showing, like, front, back. Like, I want to see the most bruised and fucked up area. Like his cock and balls? <laughs> Show right. me your balls! <laughs> what else is there? Uh, well, there's a lot of other things, but, yeah. yeah, sure. And then there's a rumor of ESPN and Fox teaming up to buy the, the UFC's TV rights. Wouldn't surprise me. Which is weird. We, I didn't think that they had, are they like competitors or? They were, but they're not. Well, it's happened with the fire. Like the, the Chicago fire here, the soccer team, mm. they moved to some like ESPN Go or something. So that you can only stream the games now. It's something weird. Do so you have to buy another service? Yeah. Oh my God. It, I think the trend right now is, is these cable companies are realizing that they're old. Everyone's ass cutting and, cord. Yeah. So they're like, we're going to go to streaming. And I think this might be a move in that direction. It sounds to me like, mm. like that might be a possibility. Yeah, I wonder if the UFC is ever going to try to do the WWE model, where they just do everything online. Maybe. It's Did weird. they stop doing TNT and all that stuff? WWE? WWF? I don't know. I'm not following the wrestling, so I can't. You're not following the wrestling? What's wrong with you? The that? fake wrestling? Yeah. I don't know. I don't even watch TV. But, uh, hmm, curious. What else? Uh, Roy McDonald and Ben Askren were kind of talking some shit on. Twitter saying, oh, they'd both be interested in fighting each other. Ooh. Now, Bellator is actually entertaining this fight, trying to get it to go put together, but they said Askren's got some contract issues. And I think the owner of 1FC said that they're going to try to work it out. So I don't know if it's going to be a Bellator event, a 1FC. I don't know if they're going to co-brand it, but they're going to try to make that fight happen, which wow. I don't know if I'm necessarily excited for that. I don't know how you feel about the Askren versus Rory uh, McDonald. Uh, I would be okay to check it out. Maybe. I feel like the stakes need to raise up. If we're going to do this fight, yeah. fight to the death. Do something interesting. Not just a straight up fight. Because I just don't want the life sucked out of me anymore. No, me neither. I don't have time for life sucking. You want a weird stat? Please. Okay. Cain Velasquez. He's only fought twice in the last five years. Oh. He's on the uh, Dominic Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't think the guy. It was UFC 200, I believe, was his last fight against Travis Brown. Wow. That's that long ago. It's forever He's ago. Like, he's like one and done. Like, yeah. I'm good for the next two years. He's on that Nick Diaz plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Derek Lewis versus Francis Ngannou happened at UFC 20, 226. Get your Twix on July 7th. Also, Brian Ortega and Max Holloway on that same card. And it's weird because Mark Hunt was all pissed off. He's like, I fucking beat Derek Lewis. Why am I not fighting Francis Ngannou? Because he's Samoan. I, those, but who, wouldn't you want to see bangers banging? Uh, yeah, before we're, yeah. <laughs> So it's all about, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, that's going to be a boring-ass fight because Ngannou is going to come in with a fucking Alistair Overeem-type over game, game plan, plan. of, yep. man, I can't just throw it all out there anymore. I must be calculated and pace myself. Oh, no. Please Pacing don't do that. Throw it all away. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah, scam through. We've been kind of bumping up and down. Herky jerky, aren't yeah. we? See, I don't think I have anything else, do I? We can go to ask the nuts. Find it right. Is is it safe to say at 155 is the most stacked division right now? When you look at you have Nurmagomedov as a champion, Conor McGregor, Tony Ferguson, Eddie Alvarez, Dustin Poirier, Kevin Lee, Edison Barboza. I think Al Iaquinta is in the top ten. There might be uh, Michael Chiesa in there too. As far as like a, it a sounds division, like when you put it that way, like it sounds far. pretty solid. In like, man, I know I always I think I was always kind of between fifty five and eighty five were always yeah. kind of the debatable ones, and I don't know where you slated Nick Diaz in these days. Is he one seventy or one eighty five? Uh, when when he comes back, I'll know the answer to that. If uh, yeah, well, he'll come back. Oh, I would hope so. I, I would. I wonder. So to answer this, do you think it's fifty five or? Yeah, I think fifty five right yeah, now. I think it sounds it sounds more solid yeah. to me. It's tough. And then for Khabib, who who does he fight next? If you have 
You have Ferguson, McGregor, Poye, Alvarez, and Kevin Lee all jockeying for position on that guy. It's mm. tough. Yeah, and it's a hard call. There's still a fight that needs to happen between Poye and Alvarez because that one was ended in controversy. They had talked about doing, <clears throat> excuse me, a rematch that never came to fruition, and some people are arguing maybe that those two need to fight again now as that number one shot. Like whoever wins that fight gets a shot at Nurmagomedov because mm -hmm. I think Nurmagomedov saying he's not going to fight until November or some shit. Yeah. So that's what six months off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Wait, everyone's going to sit around and let, let him dictate. And again, it doesn't sound like Connor's even in any of these talks, which no. is kind of weird. It is weird. Right? It is. Wouldn't you want to get paid? <laughs> he doesn't need to get paid. He's got made lots of money. Well, no, Connor doesn't. But oh, oh. all these other oh, guys, guys that yeah. fight him, yeah, yeah. would you would make so much money. Good point. You know, your percent on, you know, it's guaranteed over a million, right? Yeah, for sure. That's tough. Trying to think on, on that list, what do I want to say? Who's the most worthy of it? I kind of think Ferguson is because yeah. that was his fight. Ferguson. He kind of got fucked just by getting injured. I do want to see Khabib to do it, but I don't think any. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I don't think Connor wants any part of that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he does I either. So. I mean, that's that's such a scary fight. I think that makes the most sense, though. You know what, though? If he fights Khabib and then wins. That will cement his legacy. Oh so, Connor, God. we issue you a Hall challenge. Fame. Hall of Fame if he can win. That's it. <laughs> Hall of He's Fame. Hall of Fame right now, I Is think, he? still. Maybe. Sure. Two two belts, you know? Yeah. Time. Cormier's on that path, right? If he beats Smiocic, then fights Brock Lesnar. But I still think they don't give that fight. I think it's John Jones's fight, right? Probably. That makes us a lot of money if <laughs> we still have an outstanding bet on the John Jones in his next fight. If it's Luke Rockhold or Brock Lesnar, we make a shit ton of money. Like I think a forty-nine dollar bet pays twenty-five hundred dollars. Really? Yeah. Wow, it's right. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> That's crazy. We're open for the best. Okay. And then I think we should just double that. We just double that down. Bet it on black. Fine. Black is whack. Don't, don't smoke crack, man. <laughs> okay. Whitney Houston. Sorry. Whatever happened to her? He died. Ooh. Is that the Bobby Brown influence? Who knows? Get a piece of that ace. I think it's more of a, a drug addiction, but okay. Mm. Drug is bad. It's hard being That's a what they say. performer. Yes. And uh, Rodrigo Machado will close it out. It's time. Pound sign, nuts roll. Pound sign, Matt Rabe train. Pound sign, Ingo Sugar Daddy. If you could choose one UFC fighter to narrate your life, Ooh. who would it be and why? To narrate my yeah, life? Yes, I'm confused. Why would I want to do that? I don't know. Is he living my life? Ah. He's narrating. He's, so he's, he's just a, telling people Like a play-by-play. Play. So I need a storyteller then. Jo UFC fight. I was going to say Drogan, but that's the not used to. Uh, I might like a Cormier to tell the story of my life. I don't want to hear his annoying voice. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Sorry. But he's a good person. He I is think a good he's person. a good color commentator. He is. Um, UFC fighter? I feel like Frank Mir would have a lot in common yeah. with me. He thinks he's got a lot I to think. say. He, he's very technical. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, if a zombie apocalypse were to happen tomorrow, hmm. which one fighter from each division on the UFC today would you want on your side as backup? And he said the division, in case you guys forgot. We started heavyweight, so who? We'll go at each one. Heavyweight, who are you gonna take? Uh, I got Mark Hunt. And uh, you, we can pick the same people. It doesn't matter. Okay, I, and I wouldn't pick Mark Hunt. I'm gonna go with uh, heavyweight. Hmm? Uh, Rumble Johnson. I would take him, even though Fair he's like kind of in, kind of out. I like him. Light heavyweight. Light heavyweight. Cormier. John Jones. Middleweight. Ooh. The Michael Bisbing, just because I want to see him get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta try to find that balance of. Because yeah. I'm almost debating to go at heavyweight to take a Daniel Cormier, and then Daniel a light Cormier. heavyweight to take John Jones. Just the, the hilarity between the two. And then a middleweight, like a Michael Bisbing, or like just I'm I want, not gonna just, just let you kill me, Jack. Fucking all this shit story. <laughs> you think going I'm gonna on? just let you kill me? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> that was the best. Was Hell too. yeah. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. That and was then so funny. Welterweight, maybe a Nick Diaz. Like they, there cardio. might be so you cardio. Yeah, you do need cardio, because <laughs> I ain't cool. gonna have it for damn sure. <laughs> One of these fuckers is gonna put me on my back and yeah. um, run. Just run. Yeah. 
Uh, that's why I'll go. So I'll both go. Diaz brothers, one one eighty five, yeah. maybe Nick at eighty five and uh, Nate at one seventy. Yeah, and then uh, fifty five. I'm I'm taking. Uh, I think McGregor. Gaethje. There. Gaethje. I like McGregor. Always got to take someone that's willing to stand and bang it out <laughs> with all okay. these people. And how would a leg kick work on the zombie? Probably not well. I might, I might just chop them all down. Yeah, yeah, but they will keep crawling. Or Edson Barboza. Quick. Yeah, push. That's a lot of work. Quick. Guns are better, Matt. To the head. True. And if you're under 55, you can go fuck yourself for the. You're getting eaten. Men. Actually, they might be nice to have slow guys that uh, in that so they can be like food. Mighty Mouse. I want him just <laughs> you, your job run in circles. <laughs> He's never gonna get tired, and the zombies just keep following yeah, him around and around and around. Yeah, I like that. And then for the women, it's uh, Chris Cyborg at 45 because uh -huh. there's no one else at 45. Yep. Uh, nice. Sangano and Holly Holm. Hmm. I know they're they're all in weird weight classes, so. uh -huh. and I don't want any of the lighter chicks unless again you take someone that's got cardio for days and her job is to just run. What do you do? I run. Mm -hmm. All right, moving right along. Would you rather be able to move using dance moves from Gundam style from Psy, or every time you talk you have to start your sentence was with? It's time <laughs> from Bruce Buffer and end with, and it's all over just like that. <laughs> Every sentence? Yes. Yeah, really cool. It could be funny in the bedroom. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> just it. uh, like that. that. It's over. Um, yeah. I, I, I want the dance moves, the first motherfucker. One it's all about one. having good dance yeah. moves. And at Fuck, Mary Kill, the women of video games... A blaze blue edition, if I say that correct, I don't know. First, you start with bullet. The picture pulls up. <laughs> it's, it's very dark. Oh, oh. Hang on, that's not her. Oh, look at this. She looks naughty. Yeah. Big old blue. And then you have Lichy Fei Ling. Oh, look at that. Studious. Yeah, she looks like a doctor. She could do work. And then Noel Vermillion. Ooh. Well, th she's going to be kilt. Yep. The last one. Two screw girl. We're going to marry the one in the middle. She looks like she's smart. She probably got lots of money. So she can take care of us. And then the first one will be banged because the big boobies, giant boobies. I think we're, this is maybe the first time Whoa. we're in agreement. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's crazy. And I'm like, I'm all in for that. All right. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, knowledge for. Uh, uh, thinking, thinking, thinking. Not really, no. What do you have? Uh, let's have this picture. Again, the fucking slide doesn't want to slide. I don't give a shit. A little product placement of uh, you got this spreadable honey, and then look at the lid. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> One step closer to the hill. Did you find that in the store? Was that your picture? No. Okay. No. It's on it's Reddit hilarious. somewhere at hilarious. some point, but <laughs> you gotta know me. where your labels are. I, I think a lot of these people, at, I want to say half the time they're doing it on purpose, and half the time they're, do, they're just fucking retarded. It's randomness. When you think about Reebok when they came to the UFC and all the name misspelling, mm -hmm. like, what are you guys doing? What are you doing? Maybe it's just creating buzz. Sure. Literally, in this case. That's right. <laughs> Apparently, I guess uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley, he had a pretty sweet tie-dye shirt that I was almost thinking about buying, but then it had that Reebok bullshit on it. Nah. And I was like, yeah, I'm out. And I guess they only made 420, sold out in fucking minutes. Wow. Minutes. So... Gotta get a little bit of a name. That's it. Break a leg or something. He comes back. Oh, he smoke folk and smoke folk and weed. Wow. Ingo. Oh wow. <laughs> Even deal with a that. Whole other language Why don't you put speak? that in your pipe and fucking <sighs> smoke it? Maybe I will. <laughs> that has been this week's. See, I'm doing it. What's wearing off on me? That has been this week's edition of MMA Nuts. My name is Ingo Weigold. Back with Ice Plants.